everybody. Welcome back to another tutorial here. So we're in Logic today and we're going to be side chaining our drum hit signals all to one send or one bus output in order to create that side chaining signal that goes through the rest of the instruments or whichever instruments you want that signal ducking through. Side chain can be used in a lot of different ways. Side chaining in music is used pretty often in electronic music. It can be done um, in a very tasteful way, in a very noticeable way. Otherwise, you don't notice it sometimes at all. So your side chain signal is going to be the sound that goes through and creates that ducking effect on your other instruments should you choose to implement it. So for example here, let's take a look at the kick and the rim tracks. Track one and two here. So what I'm gonna do is right click on the output here create a bus that'll be bus one. Now this is just creating that signal path in yellow here you'll see aux one comes up. So we'll label that just so we know exactly what it is, the drums. I like to click this read button so that you can have that in the sequencer up top there to track out any automation or anything like that should you decide to do that. So now we see here we see that these two sounds are feeding into bus one which is our drum track here. So I made this little melody this morning to kind of just demonstrate what the side chaining effect does here. Kind of a calm little loop. Something like lo-fi, I don't know. So it's just a basic Rhodes piano with some chords and some keys coming through. Um, so let's hear that with the beat. Very simple beat that I made this morning, lo-fi kind of angle, so. So it's pretty mellow. I like the melody, very calm for the morning vibes. Let's get those drums to kind of cut through that Rhodes instrument that I have there. So you'll see I have one VST effect on there already. So we're gonna go below that and create a compressor. Now what you can do is you can create any kind of compressor that will allow for the side chain to come in. You just have to determine that it's bus one there. So in this case, I like the FabFilter C2. The FabFilter suite is amazing. Their mastering bundle is something I urge you to pick up if you don't have it already. So you'll see right at the top here, in Logic, it gives you the option to put a side chain into there, which is right now our rim and our kick. Pull the threshold down a little bit, and this is an important detail. You're gonna wanna make sure to initiate that side chain so that it actually is coming through here and ducking that sound down. So let's see how it's sounding so far. So that's without touching it very much. You can see where the drums are coming in. You can hear too, it's kind of choking that sound for a little bit, allowing those drums to come out a little bit more. So it just depends on how you want it to sound here. You can adjust your threshold, your release, your attack to taste. I like to have the auto release function somewhere between like 20 and 30%, depending on like the genre of the track or the pace of the track. It just depends. So let's play around with it. So it's a little bit more tucked in the back. So it gives it more room for other instruments, effects, stuff like that. But it really depends on if you want to tuck it back or not, or if there are other elements you want to accentuate. Um, this compression 
can be uh, very mild or very aggressive depending on that threshold, the ratio you set, the attack and release have a lot to do with how wide that side chain comes in and how long it lasts in the mix there. So you can really adjust these things to taste. It doesn't have to be drum hits. You can do any signal that side chain to another signal, like play around and see what sounds good. For the hats, you can definitely side chain the hats too. I would recommend a lighter threshold, something where you can still kind of hear the tick, 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 but the same thing can be applied all across the board. You could even copy this compressor here by holding option, click, move it over to the hats, open it up, set your threshold to be a little bit higher, let's say maybe a little bit shorter of a release too, and lower that ratio just a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. So that's basically what you're trying to do with the sidechain. Now picture this with any other genre, picture this with really loud noises, and you can see how those dynamics really sound cool. So go crazy with this one. Show me what you do, show me what you like. Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for stopping by, and look out for the next one soon. Peace.